Toronto Guardian was going to write about this, but then I retracted the story because I was like, you know what? I don't actually want people to, t- to really know, but you know, I'll share it with you now. Um, I got a call from our one of our head hostesses, um, Celeste, and she said, hey, Michelle, I just um, booked a reservation for a woman that is having dinner with her husband, and she's celebrating uh, his 40th birthday or something like that. And I said, okay. You want to do something nice for them? She's like, yeah, we're going to do something nice for them. But she shared a story with me that kind of moved me, and I think we have an opportunity to do something good. She said the story while she was booking the reservation with this woman on the phone. They started kind of going back and forth with just everyday dialogue. And the woman, I'm paraphrasing, but the woman said, you know, it's been a really tough uh, couple weeks for me and my husband. Uh, We're looking forward to hosting his party. And um, Celeste was like, what happened? or what's happening. And, um, the woman said, our son is about to have like life saving surgery, Mm. um, at sick kids hospital. And, uh, that's been really trying for us. And, you know, hotels are so expensive. We want to stay, we live, I believe they lived in Brampton, um, which is what an hour Mm -hmm. outside of Toronto and sick kids hospital, which is downtown Toronto hotels are really expensive and so are Airbnbs. So Celeste was like, Michelle, do you think we could pay for their hotel to stay the three days that the son is having his operation, like for that period of time? And I said, you know, in my head, I was like, that's going to really eat into our operating (laughs) budget. But I was like, you know what? Let me call you right back. And I called, I talked to Sophia, my girlfriend. I said, Hey, you're the biggest enabler of my career and my crazy ideas, right? She said, I am. I said, would you mind if we stayed at your parents' house for three days? I want to welcome this stranger and her husband into our home and let them stay. Here's the story. Sophia's like, let's do it. Like Sophia, like (laughs) just as a side note, like I said, she's the biggest enabler of my career. Anything I said, if I asked her to do, she'd be like, I'm for, I'm for it. Let's do it. Right. So I'm, I'm thankful for her. So I would give her a little shout out there. But that's something that we did. These complete strangers stayed in our condo for three days. So Sophia and I made sure that uh, they could um, use all of our uh, kitchen supplies because the mother wanted to cook meals for uh, her son who was, again, just about to have this life-saving surgery, and thankfully everything worked out. But, you know, we said, hey, help yourself. Here's how to use our Netflix. Here's our Netflix login. Here's our kitchen supplies. Like, do use use our Tupperware. Like, um, So, you know, I would like to think that that's something special and unique about my operating ability or just who I am as a person. Forget about the, the business side of it. It's just like, look, if you called me and said, hey, homie, I need a place close to St. Lawrence Market where I live, do you mind if I stay at your place? Hey, Sophia, do you mind? Done. Let's go. All right. So those are just some of the things that like I'm willing to do for strangers. And, you know, some people find it weird. I find it normal. 